smoke. Man, it's your boy, artist. Air the gap too deep. Are you Milan? Here, girl, Flamey G. But it's Auntie Pig. It's the King T Network, we are back here live. Uh, when I say it's 2024, it's motherfucking 2024. And I don't give a fuck, it's not 2024 yet. We live forever, bitch. Um, yes, sir. We got my guy, um, the second half of the dynamic duo of the OEAs. The man with the plan, the man, the Akron native. We got Dre Day in the motherfucking building. Hey, make him say, oh. Uh. <laughs> man, how are you, my brother? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Blessed to be here. Blessed to be alive. Yeah. Blessed to be dark skinned. And Come still, on now. And still living life to the Come fullest. Come on now. Oh, hi. You must be Joe. Joe Pitts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's me. What's this? Okay, uh, so I'm gonna be in Miami for a whole week, so I figured I can make some money here while I'm gone. By turning your crib into a do drop in? Better hope you didn't make a spare house key. Hey, babe. Joe, what are you still doing here? What did you do to my house? You like what I did with the place? Joe had already printed off the contract, right? I know. Now, somehow he wrote that he's a long-term tenant and, and, and not short-term. Like a roommate? Good morning, Riley. You gonna have to go down to the courthouse and uh, file an eviction. What about my home? What about my things? How am I supposed to sleep with a strange man in my house? We've looked into Joe Pitts. He has no criminal record, not even a traffic ticket. You so need to go shopping, babe. So he's harmless. See how easily accidents can happen? You to the me? fullest. To the fullest. Boy, can't the, stop, won't stop. You went to Africa this year, didn't you? Hey, I'll, hey, next year I'm going to Africa. I went to Puerto Rico. Though. Puerto Rico this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker went somewhere. He was it's getting crazy. out of here. And real, real, real quick, bro. Puerto Rico is a, is, is a pretty bad place is to live. It? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, bro. I, I I had no idea, but that's savage land for sure. Really? Like, like. Chickens running around, you gotta go catch your food type shit, bro. Yeah, really? Like yeah. third world on my no games, bro. No games. That's wild. And real quick, real quick, a dude told me, he's like, yeah, man, make sure you don't get get into it with nobody up here because they'll they'll you'll cuss them out or something and they'll go run away and come back with a machine gun, shoot your ass, and kill you. That's what they be on. That what? <laughs> yeah. They'll just <laughs> get <laughs> run busy, away. You, 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 you won. You, you think you won. They coming back and spray you. Whoa. Yeah. Don't get into it. Yeah. Hey, don't go to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico <laughs> tripping. Like. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. Go, hey, go, go swim and have fun. Oh, everything. Mm -hmm. But look, man, y'all, when I say y'all had a motherfucking year, I thought 2022 was a year. Man. Y'all came into this year like, yeah. Nah, that ain't even. Y'all thought y'all seen something. I mean, from January on, right, right, right. didn't take a break yeah. at one point of this year. Man, where does the consistency and the drive and the hunger to want to keep doing it come from? Motherfucker did a show yeah. yesterday, two days ago, goddamn. I mean, shout out my boy Drew, my business partner Drew. But uh, honestly, you know, besides us motivating each other, mm -hmm. man, honestly, bro, it'd be, it be just be these hating ass niggas, bro. <laughs> uh, for me, it's hating ass niggas. Like, Is they it? don't even understand. Is it? Yeah, because... The more you hate on me, the more I get motivated. Like, I, always, I always use this motivation. Like, and at this, you know, I'm 20 years in the game, so I, I use everything, every little thing I can for motivation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Either if it's hating or somebody showing love mm. or, or something, I look back and be like, man, I could I could have actually did that better. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Still trying to reflect yourself. Reflecting. Yeah. For 20 years, though. Mm -hmm. That's growth right there. Mm -hmm. But that's also finding where, like LeBron, like, yeah. He don't gotta win another championship. Where is mm -hmm. his hunger at? Right. He's like, he, 
I seen a clip yesterday. He was like, at 40, I'm going to go to my left hand, and I'm going to score 5,000 with my left Crazy. hand. Crazy. And it's like, but that's another challenge for him. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And he'll right. really motivate himself for five more years right. to shoot left hand just so he could do that. Right, right. That's what I equate, and shout out to Akron. That's what I equate mm-hmm. to the, the people in Akron who really go get it. That's how y'all get it. Right. Y'all... Y'all set yourself on a goal, right? And it don't matter. Yeah, it's on the floor. Akron, a hustling city, bro. Man, like, it's and a y'all lot, some it's thugs. A lot of I did not know oh, yeah. how thuggish, ruggish. Oh, yeah. That it's the real yeah. thuggish, ruggish bone out yeah. there. God damn it. Yeah, it's the, they def. It's the cats it's definitely out there laying them, laying crazy. them down, bro. Sad. It's sad, bro. You know. Damn. It's it's definitely some hustlers out there, it's though. Some you know, real deal yeah, hustlers. real. We ain't got too much in Akron. Yeah. But what we we use what we got to really. <laughs> To take it, that's take it. Take it to the next level for real. Bro. Y'all make it feel mm-hmm. like Cleveland out that motherfucker. Yeah, uh, to a certain degree. In certain spots, yeah. certain moments. Mm-hmm. Certain degree. Now we yeah. gotta talk about it. The most controversy, virtual mm-hmm. OEAs to date. Yes, yeah, sir. Man, give us your perspective. Yeah, man. This is the this is the most controversy year for me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like out of all the years, I feel like this is just the most most controversy, most. Shit I had to deal with, mm. you know what I'm saying? More haters. We you know, we added more haters to the collection. So that that, part. that's always good. Yes. You know, so you, uh, working. you know, especially when you working, but yeah, it, it, it was crazy, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, just from before the OEAs, a couple weeks before the OEAs, mm. going up to the OEAs, mm. and even after the OEAs. Man. You feel me? So it definitely was a lot, man. But I'm just glad I had a good, good people around me, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, bro, I'm, I'm you know, <clears throat> I had a lot, you know, a lot of different, you know, partners and stuff. And but I'm glad I had, you know, I'm glad Drew was Drew was around wow. during this time. You feel yeah. me? Because we could feed feed off each other's energy yep. through the good and the bad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. Mm-hmm. So, um, what was your favorite moment of the OEAs this year? My favorite moment this year probably was probably a few of the performances. I liked uh, I liked you know the honorees. Mm. You know, did uh, I thought they you know they got a good chance to get their flowers. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, some of the performances, and I definitely liked how in uh, you know shout out to you. Uh, how all the podcasts was around. Fire. And stuff, you got bro. on some podcasts. Everybody got and different interviews. Yes. How you feel me? I thought that was super dope. Thank you know, just super dope experience. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Now, you said it, man. 20 years in the game, man. What have you taken the most from? Like, what, what kind of sticks with you the most through these 20 years? Uh, that nobody's going to give you shit <laughs> in life. Break I that mean, down. Break yeah. that down. So, how I look at it, bro, is you got two different type of people. You got a person that's going to sit and wait for his opportunities to come, and they may never come. Yeah. You know, they're going you know, to they chill. They're going to relax. Might. They might. You know? But and they, they might they, not. They might. And, it, and it might come. It might not never come, but they yeah, might. It might. <laughs> And That's your you got, chance. <laughs> and then you got you got you got you got go getters. Yeah. You know more go getters. You got people that's you know they they're not waiting on anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying they're not waiting on anything, and they're they gonna do whatever they got to do to you know put their self or in, you know their situation into another level. Yeah. You know, so I, I think that's the biggest thing is I learned is uh, and consistency is is huge with everything in life, and also. Every time, man, every three to five years, you got to reinvent. You know what I'm saying? You I said that reinvent. last time. Got to reinvent, bro. What What does that mean, though? What does that look like? like I want to give them, like, real deal, like, skills they can take away from yeah. this. So, like, what, is, what mm-hmm. does it mean to re- reinvent, reinvent yourself every three to five years? What does that yeah. look like? That don't mean yeah. being a different person, but yeah. what does that mean? Okay, for I can give you an example. For, so, the last five years, I had all even. Mm. I got dreads now. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just even how I used to dress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm trying to, you know, now I'm more on my, you know, CEO boss shit. It just, it just, even how I carry myself before I was more, uh, you know, a little bit more, uh, 
I was always hungry and stuff, but I, I don't think I was as focused as I mm, was now. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Just and, and then that's part of the reinvention too, because you know you re reinvent your mindset. That's it. You, you know that's what I'm saying? It. It's more than the clothes you wear yep. or the hair, but it's the mindset. So for example, I used to maybe promote. I used to promote like this, or I used to, you know, put my brand or image out like this. Mm. But now I do it in a, a completely different way. That you know, got rebranding is not a fucking logo, y'all. Yeah. I need y'all to know that, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not just a fucking logo. It is actually mentally changing a thought process of how you do something prior to doing it. That's yes, what he's talking about. And that's what 20 years looks like. It looks like evolving. It looks like integration. It looks like development of a person. Do not be the same person you was 10 years ago. That's literally what is insanity, trying to do the same thing and hoping for a different outcome. You're literally turning yourself insane being the same person. And you're making everybody else around you insane because they're like, aren't you supposed to be doing this growing up, but yeah. you still doing this same cycle. So when did you know that I'm not gonna do this same cycle? When did, when did you know you were gonna keep evolving and developing and elevating yourself? Man, uh, like, you know, I'm an OG in the game. Yeah. I, I'll say, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I'll say this. It, so this is Kanye song, right? And he, he used to be like, I don't want to be broke when I'm 31. Mm. And I turned 31 and I was broke. Whoa. So imagine all through my 20s, that shit just hit my head. I don't want to be broke when I'm 31. And then when I turned 31, I was broke. So I feel like uh, that was that was the biggest thing for me. And like yeah. I said, I had a lot of successful friends. They didn't even know it. Wow. But I, had, I got a lot of successful friends or like people, you know, that's, you know, a couple hundred thousand up mm -hmm. or a few millionaires, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, and I feel like to me, only to me, I feel like I was being, you know, I mean, I'm a dream chaser. I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a hustler. Yeah. So I, you know, I'm, I'm always going to be trying to work for myself and build my own empire. Yeah. And you know, you know, my friends are not like that, but, mm -hmm. uh, so it's always going to be hard for me. But once I seen that and once I seen how they were advancing in life and, and it, it is motivating me. But it could have done it two ways. I could have looked yeah. at it like, oh, man, I could have been on some hating shit. Yeah. Oh, man, them niggas get money. Man, counting pockets and yeah. shit. And, and, and motivating. As and, niggas and, do. As niggas do. Come and on. And be like, I ain't, I ain't about to do that shit. Or I'm about to do this. You know? But no, I use that for motivation. I'm like, hold on. What am I doing? It's part of the reinvention. Come on. What am I, uh, the mind frame. What am I doing so I can get, you know, maybe I might, might not be on that level financially mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? What can I do to get closer? You what know what I'm saying? What things can I What's put in place? What's the steps I can put myself in? Come on. You know what I'm breaking saking? it down for Especially yourself, being, though. Yeah, for yourself. And, and being an entrepreneur, bro, it's hard because there ain't yeah. no 401ks. Nope. Ain't no 401k. Ain't no, nope. sa ain't no save, saving plan for you later on. Nope. It ain't nothing. It's all, all, all the blood, sweat, and tears you got on your back right now. You know what I'm saying? Now, that takes me to a story I hear often um, mm -hmm. from... I don't know if it's from you, but it's about you, mm -hmm. about saving your first hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. um, talk about that. Yeah. Like, was that after thirty one? Was that? Yeah. So that was that was the that was the after the thirty one where I had to wow. reinvent my mind. Okay, frame. real shit. So like I said, I, I seen these niggas, and like I said, they were my friends and stuff. But I still use this motivation because I don't want to be the broke friend. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, after that, so it took me about about five, about four and a half, five years. And I saved, a, <clears throat> I saved, I saved a hundred thousand. Wow. Uh, and it was hard, bro. Uh, they they used to go on trips and shit. I wouldn't go on none of them trips. Really? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I used to meet Drew because we was always on a grind together. Mm -hmm. We we be talking, we be talking or whatever. And I'd be like, yeah, man, I'm about to, I'm about to go out. I treat myself, go get some Outback or something one day or something. Mm -hmm. But man. I ain't had no new clothes, wow. my clothes. I didn't have, I wasn't going on no trips. You know what I'm saying? It really, I would just, bro, I was in the fucking zone stacking, stacking. You know what I'm saying? And what did you ultimately um, want to get out of saving and learning the process of saving? Yeah. Like, what did you want to get out of that? Well, I feel like if I could say that, I could do anything. Mm, you know so what I'm saying? Yeah, the confidence. Yeah, the confidence. To have the diff discipline yeah, to the do discipline. something like for that. For years, too. For years. Yeah. It's not yeah. like that's a three month, six yeah. month thing. It is for it's years. It took a while. Yeah. Because, you know, we, bro, we're at a, we're at a place, you know, 
people, you know, are not saving their money. So that's right. one thing I always wanted to do for, you know, for me personally to say I can do it. But then share my story. So motivate other motherfuckers. Yes. Bro, save that fucking money, bro. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You. Once you get to it, you know, once you get, uh, you know, everybody goes ups and downs financially. That's part, that's part of the game. And if you're a hustler, you're an entrepreneur, you're going to have ups and downs. Yep. That's part of the game. But once you get to a certain point, save your fucking money. No matter what you got to do, because I'm telling you, you can spend it on females, you spend it on clothes and shoes and all that shit don't mean nothing. And it's you know all what gone. I'm it's all gone. And bro. it's all they all leave. Even gone. the female be gone. Oh, man. <laughs> leave with your clothes. Leave with your clothes. <laughs> Burn them first. God damn, bitch. Leave with your clothes. <laughs> what? <laughs> was one of the biggest, um, I would say, setbacks you had in these 20 years? What was the biggest setback? Uh, and how did you overcome it? Man, it was so many. Uh, going, I, I, I'll give you a few. Uh, going from, uh, well, fin financially, Talk going from it. being up and then being dead broke. Really? Yeah, I remember. I remember. Uh, I remember uh, having. You know, I might have had about uh, ten, fifteen in the stash at one point. And then I remember. I remember. Uh, you know, life happening. My, my hustle start. You know, slowing down, and and I, I ain't had no. You know, I had no job at the point, so I went through the bread. So. You know, fifteen bands. That's a lot of money. No, it's not. All right. You can spend five bands in a in a two months. I probably and that you. shit went to ten so quick. You know, it's like damn. All right, and then ten went to five, and then five, you know, zero. So that that right there, that right there is probably one of the most humbling experiences. I got a few humbling experiences, but that one was probably the most humbling experience. Going from that to zero. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So thinking. Um, because like you said, we take our losses. How did you kind of bounce back from, like, n the mentality, the mental of, damn, I just fucked up all this money. I got to go. What did you? What was your steps to, like, get yourself back right? Uh, well, basically having a conversation in the mirror with the man in the mm. mirror, for real, bro. I was like, okay, you can, you can live paycheck to paycheck, or you can be up in... You know, because it ain't nothing like no stress like finances. Yeah. That's the biggest stress ever. So, yep. do, and, and I told myself, do you want to feel like this again? Mm. Do you want to be stressed out? Do you want to go through this? Real you know shit. I'm like, I'm talking And if to, you never have that bro, conversation with yourself. <laughs> I'm telling you. You will continue to feel like this. Yeah, to continue to do the same, and continue same to do bullshit. The same you know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, we all go through finances up and down. That's part of the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and all different ages. You feel me? Yeah. But once you get to a certain point, bro, you got you to gotta keep going, man. Because if not, bro, you're going to see all your friends pass mm. you up. Or people you know just pass you up and live their life while you just trying to make ends meet. You know what I'm saying? Now, you've seen that being that you're in your late 30s. You've mm -hmm. seen friends from 18 to 35 and the difference, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. um, I like to say I have some foresight, but you really know it. Mm -hmm. What? Because people be so blind to mm -hmm. reality right. and what really is going to happen. Yeah. Oh, they going to learn today. <laughs> They gonna learn today. They swear to God they're gonna be rich by 29, but not doing nothing at 22 or 24, bro, 26 or 27. Bro. Life is crazy. So <laughs> what what are some of the things and I and I wanna I'm really trying to tap into that 20 years right now mm -hmm. because I feel like it's so much game in there that yeah. sticks that you people could stick with that just takes them to 20. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 15 years. Like what what kind of tendencies did you start to see mm -hmm. from your friend groups that started to win mm -hmm. and the ones that weren't winning. Mm -hmm. And how did you, what were you kind of like you in the middle? Like where mm -hmm. were you at? Yeah. It, it, uh, I think it's crazy because I feel like all the people who was uh, supposed to be here are still here. You know wow. what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. I'm a stand up dude. I ain't no funny ass nigga. It is what it is. Yeah. So if a person had stops the relationship with me, that's on them. Absolutely. You know, nine times out of ten. Nine times. There's so, that ten. Yeah. There's yeah, that, there that ten. There's that, that ten. ten. We don't fuck with but, y'all. But bro, I had to, you know, and and changing my mindset and reinvent my mindset. I had to reinvent the people I was around. Woo. 
Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So how uh, I'm gonna just had this mindset of doing this and doing that, but I'm still hanging around bum ass niggas Come that don't on. want nothing. Come on. Nah, man, nah. I had to had to switch that. Even 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 the bitches I was fucking with, bro. Really? Yeah, I had to I had to change not, that not, mindset. Not the bitch, not the bitches though. I bro, but you had to. Ch- I mean, but. Okay, think of it like this though. You just, you know, you out here being a player. I was a player, Talk basically. All, I was playing all get, my life. We get pussy. So yeah. it's like I was a bro. I, I was a player all my life until I had, you know, until I had kids. You know what I'm saying? But that right there, bro. You trying to, you trying to, you spending money on a female. Mm. You thinking about what you can take her do this. All that shit, bro. You you stopping your own progress because the, the 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 women always gonna be there, but the opportunity, bro. You only Yo, got so you got, you got so long. I emphasize the female part because y'all believe y'all can fuck seventeen bitches at one time and still get to y'all bag, nah. and they even figured out how to get a bag yet. It don't work like that. You got to figure out what you're doing first. Then, like he said, they gonna motherfucking be there. They actually gonna be there every step of the way. It yeah. just honestly they gonna get prettier as mm-hmm. you get better with what you're doing. Yeah. But, yeah. And they're gonna be there. So, take the time necessary, whether you 21, whether you 29, whether you 45. Take the necessary time to learn your craft, yep. learn yourself, yep. then step out. Now you got your ducks in a row and you ain't worried about the stresses of finances mm-hmm. and these bitches. Because these bitches gonna come with something. But but vice versa, vice versa too, for the females. Don't be having these bum ass niggas that's trying to tear you down, trying to stop you from doing what you're doing. Every good Corny, thing you got. Balls. Yeah, bro. We call we we call it we call them peons. Facts. <laughs> Facts. We call them peons, bro. If you trying to stop Insecure somebody's ass. growth in life, bro, that shit's that shit's corny, bro. It's sick. That it's shit's sick. weak. It's weak. So, it's a weak know, man sport. Yeah. But in the twenty years, bro, that's another thing I learned, bro. I just had to you know, uh, eventually let people weed themselves out of my life, you know, and and I don't even get mad. I learned, bro, I don't even get mad when somebody be on some fake shit or weird shit and we had time, you know, we, we, you know, we had a certain type of relationship or whatever it was. It is what it is. I had that error with him in life. You know what I'm saying? So but how do you cut ties then? Because, yeah, like, because I, I feel the same way. I ain't yeah. mad at you, mm-hmm. but how do you cut the ties where it's like, all right, I just got to completely move forward and yeah. I know I'm gonna win over here yeah. with or without you. Yeah, but that that goes back to, for, well for me, that goes back to, bro, what do you, looking yourself in the mirror, what do I really want out of life? Is these people that I'm hanging with every day, are they, are they making me move forward in my life or making mm-hmm. me stand still or sit down in one position? I know, I just had a conversation with somebody, they're doing the exact same thing they was doing five years ago. Really? It was like we just, we just continued the conversation. Really? It was like it was on pause for five years, and we just continued what? the conversation. So just like that, bro. You got to really weed out these motherfuckers, bro, because these bum-ass niggas will tear you the fuck down. <laughs> mentally first, too, y'all. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. It ain't no physical shit. This is a mental warfare we are yeah, against. Man. And it's, it, it is involving bum-ass niggas with nothing to do. Yeah, they ain't man. got nothing to do, y'all. They got, yeah. they got all day in the world to hate. That's why so many of them on Instagram. You think niggas that had time and shit to do could hate that long? Yeah. No. It doesn't work like that. I don't like people. I don't got time to not like them on the internet. That don't make Man. no sense. I'm trying to get somewhere. But niggas who hate and don't progress in life have a lot of time <laughs> to do a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So um, how do you stay positive with all these bitch ass niggas? And yeah, how did start, start there? Because I was mm-hmm. about to go all the way. Well, but uh, well, one thing I try to do is, you know, stay, keep around, you know, positive people that's, you know, motivate me. And then I got, we, I got a lot of supporters too. Mm-hmm. Even though I got a lot of haters, I got a lot of people that, you know, they they tell me to keep going. They proud of me. They, mm-hmm. you know, been seeing me doing it for a long time. They see that evolu- that uh, elevation and everything. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I'm a positive person, bro. You know, what I'm saying if if I feel a certain type of way. Or whatever, I'll just get into my zone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you, I'm a loner, so sometimes I gotta be by myself. Sometimes that's fact. I'm you the know same what I'm way. Bro, you know, so I'm yeah. the same way. That nigga Scotty is too. That's why we get along so well. Yeah. Even though that nigga just be disappearing, it happens. <laughs> it happens. I get it now yeah. because I'm the same way. Yeah. But um, being a father, right? 
being a yeah. father when when that was added to the plate because you had already been in this. Right. Um, for you, did you ever consider not being in this anymore? No. Wow. Okay. Yeah, no, because I I'm, I'm totally against being a uh, being a father or being a mother and stop living your dreams. Hundred percent. Or stop uh or stop you know uh, oh I got a kid so I gotta. I can't. No, no, nah, 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 no. You can. You know what I'm saying? First, I mean, you got to make sure they're you know they, you know they're your main priority. Yeah. So clearly, you know you, you got to be stable. You got to make sure they're in a good situation. But I'm never gonna stop chasing my dreams, bro. Yeah, I'm true. never. I feel like I'm one of God's soldiers, bro. I feel like God put me here to do this. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not stopping for nobody yeah. or nothing. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Till it's over. For real, real for real. Shit. Or I wouldn't stop, you know. So, but you got to, I used to get my kids as motivation. I was part of the, the 100,000. Really? Yeah, after I had kids. You know real what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, that's all. It's, it's part, it was part of the motivation for real, bro. And that's how I, that's how I use it. I'm st still use it to this day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Developing as a businessman. Mm -hmm. So, y'all have taken elevating steps and y'all are taking some of the major steps now. Mm -hmm. I mean, what we're about to see in 2024, 2025 from y'all is about to be just out of this world. But y'all been gearing up for this. So, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I was telling Drew this for probably two years now. Like, how many times you gonna lap this bitch? Like, how many times right. y'all gonna kill Ohio? Right. Um, but how does it feel to be able to tour Ohio mm -hmm. regularly? Uh, I think it's dope, bro. I think, you know, to see any success in your business and mm -hmm. be able to do it is dope. Uh, but now it's at the point, though, it's time to take it to another level, though. Yeah. You know how we were saying, uh, we were just talking about reinventing your, your mind frame and everything mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. You kind of got to reinvent with the challenges, too, how to yeah. challenge yourself. Yeah. You know, because we just kept lapping around Ohio more and more, you know, that's dope because Ohio is always going to be our, you know, we base, from Ohio, yeah. our base. But, man, we got to hit the, it's, it's 8 billion people out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I made a stat like this the other day uh, to people, like, I, I be seeing people, uh, they say their hometown will be giving them no love or whatever, and that's cool. But it's 8 billion people on this earth, bro. You got 8 billion heads. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Find yours. So you got to find looking, yours. Stop looking for the ones that don't even care what you do. They don't care. They're not spending no money with you. They ain't spending a dollar with they you. They never will. And, they, and if they didn't know you, they wouldn't even see this shit. Man. <laughs> For real, bro. So you got to stop worrying about those people because yeah. they was never going to be your people's anywhere. Yeah. So when did you figure that out? Because it literally took me till 2023. Bro, I mean, it literally took, it maybe took yesterday. Me, it took me forever, bro. I mean, it took me forever just to realize, like, you know, we all got demographics. Yes. Before, you know, you know, you a you a new business owner, you're a new entrepreneur. You wanna, I wanna please everybody. Yep. But you yep. can't. You're not gonna please everybody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So figure out your demographic. Mm. Figure out. Figure out. And, and now it's easy to look at your demographic. All you gotta do is go to your go to your analytics, IG, YouTube, baby. And analytics. Come on. And figure out who really rock with you the most. Yeah. It shows you right there. Right there. You there. know what I'm saying? But the demographic is the biggest thing. That's over the 20 years. What uh. What kind of had me uh, kind of behind for a while. I didn't mm. realize that demographic was everything. That's it. That demographic is every, that target audience, that bro. Customer avatar. Yeah. That person that's yeah. gonna buy your shit no matter what. They no fuck matter with what, it. they fuck with it. These people. It's a hundred thousand of them, though. Yeah. It's a hundred thousand yeah. of versions of that guy. Yeah. That girl. Yes, sir. But there's there could be one in your city. You know. It could be one that looks that fits that description Facts. in your city. Facts. But that's that's the one you need to be finding. Facts. Use the internet. And I love how y'all use the internet. So yeah. speak on kind of your promotion style. Because yeah. both of y'all, you and Drew, can pack out a literal uh, nigga. Event mm. spaces. Yeah. Like big yeah. ones. Right. With just social media. Right, right. How... Have y'all done that? Y'all got a Facebook, yeah. like yeah. whole following, like mm -hmm. Instagram. How have y'all done this? Yeah. Uh, well, my biggest, uh, I think my biggest social media platforms is uh, that I use the most is uh, Facebook and uh, IG. Yeah. So you know, I separated the two though, mm -hmm. because like my hometown Akron, they use more of Facebook. Yep. 
they don't use, I mean, some people, but they don't really use IG like that. But now if you go into bigger markets like Cleveland yeah. or, uh, you Columbus. know, bigger more Columbus, they're more on IG. So you kind of got to figure out what cities use Facebook. Yeah. Now, when I just was out uh, in Kansas City, Ooh. they was using Facebook. Really? Yeah, I'm thinking IG, hey, you know, passing my phone, hey, put your IG in. But they, you know, they was using Facebook, though. Really? So it just depends where you at. But uh, Facebook, IG, and... Uh, and then also, if you got a business or whatever you pro promoting from your, your uh, social media platforms, it can't be all about the business 24-7. People are going to get tired of seeing that Talk shit. Talk about so it. So if you got a business and you promoting your business 24-7 on there, and you're not thinking of different ways to promote it, it's the same old shit. People are going to get tired. They're going to stop. Actually, it, it, it's, it's bad because they start skipping over it. Yeah. Or you post something, they not even looking at it. They're not yeah. paying attention. It's like they, they you it's done blocked them. Almost. Yeah, you done blocked them. You know what I'm saying? You, they, well, they blocked you yeah. out of their head. So, you know, you kind of want to add different things, some humor, mm -hmm. showing your personality. Because mm -hmm. we're in an era, too, uh, for branding, it's about, you know, what well, for individuals. It's yep. about showing your personality, showing yep. your brand, showing, you know, what type of person you are, what type of... You know what type of things you grew up with. You know that's what people kind of want to see these days. Yeah. So uh, uh, I think I think that's the biggest thing. You know the demographic, and then once you get your demographic, is not just feeding them the same information. Yeah. You if you got if you you if you got a business and you're promoting it like this, figure out it, reinvent and figure out a different way to promote it. So it might be in more humor. It might just be in jokes. It might be you know that's another thing I do. Yeah. Uh, on my on my side, like yep. you know, I'm, if I'm promoting something, I'll turn it into a joke. So yep. it's not like actually promoting. It, it's like promoting it without With promoting. Else, yeah. You know it's what like I'm saying? That seven touches. Exactly. That different version. Yeah. Of pushing it because mm -hmm. y'all are promoters, but y'all do it in different ways. Different ways. And y'all give yourselves like y'all very transparent. Like how y'all yeah. feel is how y'all feel. Yeah. It ain't like yeah. You and you give other people, including myself, the room to do the same. Mm -hmm. Like. It's okay to be yourself, and they don't, if they don't fuck with you, motherfucker, we do. Yeah. And yep. so continue to be yourself, because we gonna be ourselves. Be yourself at all times. At and all like times. I said, bro, you gotta be the one to look yourself in that mirror. Yeah. If you if you look in that mirror, you don't recognize who the person you are. That's that, bro. That ain't. And that, that's another thing for the twenty years. Be yourself at all times, bro. I was never. I am never been a, a hood nigga. Come on. I, I you know I was born from the streets and from the hood, just like everybody else. I ain't never killed nobody. I ain't never sell no dope. I'm just a hustler, bro. Yeah. I'm just me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm just a hustler. I'm a. I'm gonna get money always. Always. And I'm gonna always do what I gotta do to have a good life. You feel me? So you know, be be true to yourself, man. That's it. Oh, shit, man. Cause I'm gonna be true to me. I don't give a fuck if they like it or not. I think you know? that is the key, though. Mm -hmm. I think that is the key to be true to you, mm -hmm. whatever that is, and be okay with that. People that you know, like no, no, ain't gonna fuck with it. Exactly. And that's okay. Like I'm not a hood nigga, and I'm okay with that. I'm very fine. Like I, I, I'm okay. I'm not a hood nigga. Facts. I, I will walk in wearing some shit like this, and I, I'm okay with that. Yes, bro. absolutely. <laughs> like it's okay. You and know? you can walk in with the hood niggas and still get just as much exactly. Love. I got and a lot of I got a lot of friends that's hood niggas and shit, and that that's cool. Yeah. But I'm that's not me though. You feel me? So y'all just went to go do the sexy red down and yes, um, sir. Come yes, on now. Sir. It's sexy. It's sexy. <laughs> um, but y'all been killing it all year. Not I mean, mm -hmm. sexy red, money back, yo. Yeah. Uh, T Grizzly. Yeah. Uh, Sada baby yep. again. You know yep. what I mean? Like. Yep. What for you, man? Like, how yeah. is it uh, putting artists in those positions? I love it, bro. Up? I love, I love. I mean, that's that's what we here for, you know. I mean, my like I said, I feel like I'm one of God's soldiers, and I feel like one of the things bringing people together yeah. or putting, you know, uh, putting people in position, opening doors, uh, opening doors, not just for the music though. It's so much bigger than music. <sighs> Put you in position, maybe it give you a thought like, hold up, if I do my shit like this, maybe I can get further, man. Or maybe, oh, if I'm putting around these people and I. See how they moving. I should be moving like that, man. So it's bigger than them performing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Performing and leaving. Yep. You know, so that it's that a culture. Yeah. That's yeah. what they don't understand. Yeah. It's a true culture y'all created. And yeah. did you know you was gonna create? You even said before we started that you didn't even think this was gonna ever get this big. Nah. No. Nah. Why? Like, did you? So you did not see this because I. It, I had a plan, but it really wasn't a plan. Mm, I mean, that's some true yeah. shit. I had a plan three years ago, and I swear to God, Scott had been like, nigga, yeah. what, what are we doing? Man, 
this plan ain't make no no sense. But that's part of the. That's part of it. That's part of it, bro. That's part of it. You Write know? that bitch anyway. Yeah. And run the course of that. Yeah. Whatever that bitch is. And get you a mentor, man. Get you a, a mentor big. that you believe in. Yeah. That that know got you know that's there. Yeah. That's there for you because, man, I was coming up, bro. I had no mentor. Really. So everything I had to learn through trial and error. Yeah. Like, bro, if I had a mentor back in the day, 2007, 2008, I'd have been buying houses. Mm. You feel me? Houses used to be five to ten bands. I'd have been fucking owning ten to fifteen houses out this yeah. bitch. I'd have been saying, you feel me? But not having a mentor that's in your corner yeah. and that, that's been through life, you know what I'm saying? Understands that, more. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you want to have a longevity. longevity. Or your credit, how important your credit is, bro. Like, literally, bro. I just got my credit together two years ago. I was at a 500 or something. Now, I'm at a 750. I just got a brand new car, a 2024, just because off my credit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, a credit, bro, credit is, credit, credit is everything as well, but they don't say that. They don't talk about, in schools, they don't talk, they talk about everything else but the shit you really need. Yeah. Credit. Get your black ass some credit, bro. Get your credit the right in order. way. The right way. Get your credit in order. Save your money for financial freedom, bro. Because if not, you are gonna be out here working paycheck to paycheck for the white man or hustling for yourself, not living the life you deserve to be living. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's it's it might sound hard because we wasn't our parents. Well, I know. Well, my mom did, but normally your parents ain't gonna be teaching you that nope. to save or to do this or to do that, but. You got to learn it on your own. And sometimes when I be talking to people about saving, it goes just like this. They don't know mm-hmm. what the fuck I'm talking about. They don't know you know, and I understand that. But you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you just got to figure out, man, what's going to make your life easier. That part. You know what I'm saying? That part. So. Man, I think you're getting the jewels of a century right now because I think people get hot mm-hmm. and they think that's going to last. Last forever. Like forever. Yeah. But yeah. when you say we lit forever, mm-hmm. what does that mean? Like, what does that actually mean? Yeah. Now, some people might think is, uh, we we going to be turning up. We're going to be drinking. Nah. We live forever. Well, for, for me is, we're going to be doing what we want to do forever. We're going to be changing the culture forever. Mm-hmm. We're going to be uh, setting these positive vibes and, mm-hmm. and, and you know, and giving that, and, you know, giving that, giving that, uh, letting people know. That feeling. Bro, Chase your dreams. What other thing you got to do in life? Mm. You going to work your whole life? Mm. You going to work your whole life and be miserable? Mm. Bro, do what you want to do in life at all times. But you got to take the steps. Don't be no. Don't be uh, saying, I want to do this shit, and then you sit down and not do shit. You got to take the steps. You got you to gotta go. You got to put it in action. Anything mm. you want to do, put it in action. Come up with the plan. Yeah. It's the first part. The second part is put it in action. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's it, y'all. Literally, make a plan, make a plan to put it in action. (laughs) Like, don't don't just sit on your dreams. Don't just dream your dreams. Live them. And then watch somebody else live your dreams. That's the worst. That's the sick part. You being lazy. Yeah, I had a time in that in my life. I was lazy. Really? And blah, blah, blah. And you just watching somebody else just pass you by and just do everything you wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's the worst right there. So that's what I'm saying, man. You got to get you, a, I feel like the biggest thing, get you a mentor that's, you know, that's really been out here, that's mm-hmm. doing it, that's successful. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's going to give you the game of yeah. life. You feel me? And not looking for nothing. That's not looking nothing for you. They just you know? want to truly help. Help you. And be there. Exactly. They don't need nothing from you. Yeah. Um, coming to a close, uh, I just want to thank you. For uh, everything you've done for the network, mm-hmm. um, all the doors you've opened up for us, man, we truly appreciate it. But also, man, the mentality, the the conversations we've had, uh, just the work as the example, man. Like, like you said, mentoring. Like, you can't ask for better people that's doing what they love to do mm-hmm. at a high level, right? With pure hearts, right? It right. shit doesn't happen. Nah, it doesn't. So yeah. that's why I'm so protective over y'all too, because y'all really do have the purest intentions for people. Right, right. And but y'all also have taught me so much about you can't let these niggas play with you about that shit. Yeah. Though. Never let nobody play about your name, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ever in life. Ever. You know what I'm saying? Cuz I'm bro, I'm gonna always say I'm trying to be one of the greatest dark skin niggas ever to exist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I bro, I'm no limitations. I'm going to be the greatest person I can be, bro. Yeah. Ain't no I ain't, and I'm especially 
Ain't about to let one of these bum ass niggas tell me what I'm about to be. Come on. You know what I'm Come saying? Come on. That ain't achieved nah. a damn thing bro. ever. Ain't bro. followed through with bro. a damn thing but a haircut. Man, no, no, no. But a haircut appointment. Yeah. Hopefully can get a haircut appointment every day but can't do his taxes. Don't make no damn sense. But I, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate what you, you know, what you're doing, what y'all doing in the platform. Man. And, you know, and, and what you're doing for the culture too, bro. Thank it's, you. It's, it's huge. You Man. feel me? Examples though, like yeah. you, you got to know where it's coming from. Like the examples I seen, man. I just yeah. want to do my own way. Yeah. But like y'all set that tone, y'all set that culture. Yeah. Uh, my last, my last thing before we do our last segment. Mm -hmm. Um. So y'all had Cache, um, mm -hmm. development deal winner. Yeah. Uh, for 2022. Mm -hmm. But then y'all decided to add two more this right. year, right. not just one. Yeah. And Drew said on here that it was originally one. Mm -hmm. But you had somebody in mind, and he had somebody in mind. Yeah. I ain't gonna ask you to tell you who it was, mm -hmm. but um, why did you feel like you, Drew, and the team could handle more than just two artists? Y'all could handle multiple, because then y'all added. Yeah. You know y'all. Right. Right. Was it Dage Money that you had after that? You had it? Yeah, well, uh, to the OEA development deal is Brick Fair and Boogie Shack. Yes. Yeah, now to the We Lit, we about to add, like, uh, well, we adding them plus some other artists. Like, Dage Money's going to be one Dage Money of them. and We Lit yeah, forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. So how, why, why did you feel like this was the time now to kind of yeah. manage more artists? Uh, I think because now we, we actually building a team. Mm -hmm. Actually, we finally got, like, other pieces, but... You know the t you know team stuff. I, I, I it's kind of hard for me to to deal with a little bit too because I'm really? so used to working by myself. I'm so used to uh, I I don't I can't depend on nobody yeah. else. So I'm gonna get it done myself. So that kind of I gotta learn how to you know you know give give yeah. you know kind of relax Delicate. a little bit. You know what I'm saying sometimes. But uh, I just think that the time is now, man, because I'm we're not working with artists, especially with the We Live Forever. We're not working with artists that that need, uh, that's coming, that's just starting or this. They don't have no foundation though. We working with the artists, they already got the foundation. They already got, they already got, uh, they already got things going. They just need us to give that, that boost or give that direction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and when it's like that and, and how we do with the uh, We Lit, which is the artist development, which is the artist development label, uh, and how we moving with it, uh, it, it would never be that we we don't we don't want any entitled artists. We don't want any mm -hmm. artists that's lazy or any artists that feel like we about to do all the work mm -hmm. or we're gonna pay all this shit. We're not gonna do none of that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we are gonna continue to work with artists who makes it easier for us. Yeah, cause they like uh, for Cache, for example, mm -hmm. she books her own show. She books a lot of her own shows. Wow. She got paid. She got two paid shows. She got booked for this year. That's beautiful. She had she performed, I think ten. It was like nine or ten celebrity uh, concerts yeah. this year. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them she did herself. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. But she get she learned. Yeah. The game and was able to. Yep. Be able to go through it with people. Yep. So now when she's doing it on her own with her people, yep. she kind of knows what to look for. Yep. That's important. Yeah. But you can't forget. That's 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 why I'm so happy y'all made the We Live Forever because yeah. now that's the entity right. that holds that right. knowledge that y'all giving out. Facts and it's global. Like it's like global. we said for the Ohio Entertainment Awards, that's just for Ohio. Yeah, you feel me? That's just for Ohio. But the We Live, we about to really be going everywhere with it. You know everywhere. what I'm saying? Yeah, everywhere. So the last thing we got to do is called get mm -hmm. it off your chest. Um, it's been a long year, man. Mm -hmm. You've been shitting on these motherfuckers for a long time. Ain't gonna keep shitting on you niggas, too. Mm -hmm. uh, but what do you need to get off your chest before you see you again? It's been like, has it, been, it had to be almost two years. Because, yeah, I think it was two. Because it was back when we was, we was with CEO yeah. Marie. Shout out to CEO Marie. That oh, was, yeah. Yeah, that was early 2021. No, that was early 2022. Early, early, though. That was February type shit. I want to say like mm -hmm. March, so that's almost two years. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Can't let that happen again. Right, right. But um, yeah, get off what you need, man. Get it off your chest. Uh, it's pretty simple, man. Uh, don't make no excuses for yourself, man. Excuses are tools of incompetence which build monuments to nothingness, and those who specialize in them are seldomly good at anything else. I'm gonna say that one more time. 
Don't make no excuses for yourself because excuses are tools of incompetence which built monuments to nothingness. And those who specialize in them are seldomly good at anything else. We live forever. That part is the King T Network. We out of here.